Hello, and welcome to this presentation, VNA Calibration Basics with the Rodian Schwartz CNL. This presentation will guide you through both manual and automatic calibration using a Rodian Schwartz ZNL series vector network analyzer. This presentation assumes a general understanding of VNA calibration. If you're unfamiliar with VNA calibration, or if you'd like a brief refresher, you might want to watch the presentation Understanding VNA Calibration Basics before beginning this presentation. In this presentation, we'll be using a Rodian Schwartz ZNL series vector network analyzer. We'll also explain how to perform calibration using both a manual and an automatic calibration kit. For the manual kit, we'll be showing the ZVZ170, and for automatic calibration, we'll be using the ZNZ151 unit. We'll also need suitable RF cables, connectors, and accessories. Remember that for accurate and repeatable VNA measurements, it's important to use high quality cables and tighten all connectors with a proper torque wrench. To access the calibration settings on the ZNL, use the Cal Hard key on the front of the instrument. We'll start by performing some manual calibrations. Choose Start Manual to enter the calibration setting dialog. In calibration settings, we select the ports we're calibrating, port 1, port 2, or both, as well as the type of calibration that we want to perform. Remember that there are three one-port or reflection calibration types, normalization with an open, normalization with a short, and full one-port calibration using an open, short, and match. Let's choose the full one-port calibration. In order to get accurate results, we have to provide information about the calibration kit that we're using. We're using the Z170 Manual Calibration T, so we select this under Cal Kit. The ZNL comes preloaded with data for a number of common Cal Kits, but Cal Kit data can also be imported if necessary. This data is often included with Cal Kits on a USB stick. To begin the calibration process, we now select Start. In the calibration screen, we see the three steps that will be needed for our full calibration of port 1, namely open, short, and match. For each of these steps, we'll connect the appropriate calibration standard to the port and then click on the corresponding calibration step. Since we're starting with our open on port 1, we connect the open connector on our calibration T to port 1, then click on open. A dialog box will appear and we start the sweep by clicking start cal sweep. After about a second, a green checkbox should appear next to open. We repeat this process again for the short and match until all three boxes have green checks. The final step is clicking on apply in the bottom right corner to make the calibration data active. You may have noticed that the previous pictures showed the calibration standards directly attached to the analyzer port, meaning that our reference or calibration plane is also at the analyzer port. In most real-world applications, however, we would have some kind of cable between our VNA port and our device under test. In this case, we would attach our calibration standard to the end of the cable, and our reference plane would therefore also be at the end of the cable. As you should recall, there are a number of two-port or transmission calibration types, including normalization in one direction, normalization in both directions, one path, two ports, and the full two-port through open short match calibration. And just as before, we need to either select or import our calibration kit data, this time for both ports. Note that for our full two-port calibration, there are eight total steps that have to be completed. We'll need to repeat the open short match steps on both port 1 and on port 2, as well as the through measurement between the ports and the isolation measurement. The connections for open, short, and match in a two-port calibration are the same as for a one-port calibration. Through standards have two connectors, one for each VNA port. For the isolation measurement, the port should be properly terminated. If you don't have a dedicated 50-ohm termination, you can also use a match calibration standard instead. Next, we'll look at using an automatic calibration unit, or AutoCal. These examples were made using a Z151, but the procedure is the same on other units. Once we connect our calibration unit to the ZNL via USB, two new options appear in our calibration menu, Start AutoCal and Start Cal Unit. 
Before we run either of these, we need to be sure our calibration unit is correctly connected. In addition to the USB connection, each port of the Cal unit should be connected to a network analyzer port. There's also no need to disconnect and reconnect the unit during calibration, as we did with the manual calibration standards shown previously. The easiest AutoCal procedure is to simply click on Start AutoCal. The analyzer will automatically begin a full port, unknown, open short match calibration without any additional user input or intervention required. If we want more control over the automatic calibration, for example, choosing a different calibration type, then we can select Start Cal Unit. After verifying ports and connections, the only other user input needed in this mode is pressing Start Cal Sweep. If for some reason the attached ports were not automatically detected, you can also try using Detect Port Assignment or use Detect Ports and Start Cal to do both. As before, the calibration now runs automatically without any user intervention. Let's summarize what we've covered. Vector network analyzers can be calibrated using either manual calibration kits or automatic calibration kits. The general calibration process involves selecting the ports and the calibration type, then attaching and, if necessary, removing and reattaching the calibration standards at each step. This is done automatically with AutoCal units. And as we've seen, an automatic calibration unit can greatly reduce calibration time as well as the risk of user error. This concludes our presentation, VNA Calibration Basics with the Rodian Schwartz CNL. If you'd like to learn more about network analyzers or network analyzer calibration, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.